Oh no. Oh no. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Traction Channel. Welcome back to, of course, another episode of my Race Driver Grid Grid World playthrough. Now this is the fourth episode. First of all, I'd like to apologise once again for the technical issues in the third episode. My capture just decided not to work and it meant that the first race didn't get, get caught in the camera with, with the F3 car at Spa. But we managed to create our own team, Rick Racing. We've got our first sponsorship deals and we've won our first championship on Extreme Difficulty. So things are looking good. My, the idea for this episode is just to fire straight through, get some more championships under our belt and get some cash. So I'm going to get on with it. Back into grid world then, and we are going to actually, we know what, we'll start the episode each time probably by just looking at how we're doing. So we've currently got three sponsors. We've got Lucas Oil, APS, and Double Red. We are sitting 239th in the team rankings after only one event with £28,000 of earnings. And in terms of the driver rankings, we're 406th. So hopefully we'll be well inside the top 400 by the end of this episode. £31,750. I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough to buy a car. So let's see what events we're going to do today. Now, I'm kind of thinking of doing a Japanese event because I did a European and American event in the last episode. And as you can see, we have some championships that we can do. Toge is head-to-head -head racing on narrow Japanese mountain roads. Pro Toge events take place during the day. I thought it was Toge, not Toge. Roads. You'll race two legs against each opponent, one up and one down. The winner is the fastest over two legs. In Pro Toge events, contact is strictly forbidden between drivers. It is up to the chasing driver to ensure that no contact occurs. So be incredibly careful when attempting a passing maneuver. Being careful to avoid contact on grid is not easy. Okay, so for this event, it seems like we can use a huge amount of cars. It seems pro-muscle, pro-tuned cars, they're all valid. If we jump in and try this out, I'll, I'll obviously try it in my Mustang, get a bit more cash, and then, um, yeah, well, I mean, the Mustang was really good in the last episode. It handles really nicely, so, yeah, I mean, what could possibly go wrong with this? Only one other driver to worry about, so stay focused on the twists in the road. Okay, hit on me. Hitomi Mitsubishi is also in a Mustang, so it's Mustang versus Mustang, that suits me. Let's go. Okay, I kind of already forgotten what the, the rules are, but I think is it just a race down a mountain, basically? Oh no, oh no. I've already spun. Come on, get going, get going. It's not a good start to my career. On the grass. Oh no, it's going all, I'm all over the place. I had such good momentum with this car at the end of the last episode, but it's been a little bit of a break between playing it, so I've kind of completely lost my rhythm. I need to need to refine it again, but it's not gonna be a first a good first run, that's for sure. Poor stuff. 7.7 seven seconds seconds behind, but I did have a spin, so I think I can come back from that. Mitsubishi did it in 1 minute 0.6, so I reckon I need to go below a minute, and that's that's absolutely fine. Now, obviously, we're going back up the hill. So, again, I, 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 for some reason, I didn't really take in what was being said in the video. I was more just, like, watching the visuals. So I didn't even uh, register whether it's an average time of both, combined time, or whether it's just the best of the two. But, I mean, presuming the fact that we're going the other way now suggests to me that it's a combined time. Which means I am in danger. <laughs> Great driving. You got the lead. Okay, we're gonna cross the line. Is it gonna be sub one minute? It is sub one minute. But the time difference is only one point three seven. Okay, round two is won by me and Rick racing. But what does it mean? Yeah, it's combined. Which makes complete sense, and we're gonna lose. Oops. It wasn't your day, kid. And we've got a fight, semi final, and a final. Okay. Ken Azura, that's a good time. Fairly terrible start to my toge career, as, as it's pronounced by, by Mick. I'm not sure if that's an American thing or if that's how it's pronounced, but either way, a bad start. Much like my drifting career not even making the final, so there's lots of work to be done there. But now I know how it works, which is a benefit. 
I mean, I got all my sponsors because most of the objectives were just finishing the event, so that's something. 5,000 reputation, which puts us on 34,700, and of course our Japanese uh, license goes up as well. 46,000 in the bank. I'm going to have to go back and complete that at some point, but I think it would be best to try something else. Let's try some races. The June Street series, I can buy a car for that, I have the money. It's a pro-tuned car, so it might also be able to work in the Togue. 28,000 rep and 20,000 pounds for winning. If you're going to race, you need a car. I need to buy myself a car. Right, what can we afford? I can't afford any of them. I swear it said you could buy a car for 30,000, 34,000. Yeah, from 34,000. That's where eBay comes in. I get it now. I want to buy a 350Z. Can I afford one on eBay? We can pick up some real bargains on eBay Motors. Oh. But be careful of cars which have been in too many terminal crashes. If you see a car with a lot of wins, you should consider buying it. It's probably successful for a reason. So the cheapest second-hand one is £500 too expensive. Uh, I think I might have to leave that. It's been wrecked six times as well, which isn't good. This is a really cool feature. I like this. Like The fact that you can buy used cars and depending on how much you buy, you can either buy a banger or you can buy a really good condition one. I really like that. We're going to have to buy a Super instead though because that's within our price range and we're going to have to buy a second hand. Okay, the cheapest one is a bit of a banger. It's been wrecked nine times and it's entered 98 events, but it has 123, which is my favourite number. It's going to have to be that one, isn't it? Yes, please. Right, I have bought a Toyota Supra. Look at that. Oh, I love the way they've done it so that the liveries can just apply to any car. Like, I think that's absolutely awesome. And to be fair, this looks really, really good. Okay, let's go for it. Straight into the race. Here's last season's winner, and the guy to beat. Oh, he's in an NSX. Right. Come on then, what have you got, Supra? I should be better this time than I was last time around Yokohama Docks. But I still have no idea where I'm going. I remember last time this was the first race I tried on Extreme Difficulty and I was miles off the pace, so I don't think it's going to be easy by any stretch to get the win here. But so far, just being smooth on the wheel, it's really working. Oh, that was Skyline in the wall. It's really helping to just summon my inner controller and uh, treat it like I'm using a controller. Fifth place, looking good. Oh, NSX has spun off. This is a really twisty and tricky circuit and it's quite hard to see. Okay, I'm trying so hard to keep up with the top three here, but the pace is actually looking okay. Oh, I'm just, I don't think I'm catching them anymore. We've kind of hit the same speed, so I'm relying on a few mistakes, but we know AI can make mistakes in this game. Really nice through that section, though. Still not really gaining on them, though, am I? Three seconds off the lead. There we go. That is the spin I was talking about. Right, two more ahead of me. Come on. <laughs> I'm driving so much better than I was. Oh, uh, why did I say anything? I was about to say I'm driving so much better than I was last time I raced here and then made you and second place. by far and away the biggest mistake of the race so far and that's completely screwed our chances of the top two. I'm actually really enjoying this. It feels good. Now I feel like I'm defending for my life. I've got no reference of the cars in front so I'm basically guessing my way around the corners and I've got someone all over the back of me. Oh, alongside. I didn't even mean to make contact there. They just appeared. Oh no, that was left. Oh no. I thought we were going straight on. Damn it. I've lost my podium. That's the finish line. It's going to be fourth place. Fourth place is respectable. Mm. That's a bit disappointing, to be honest. We were even beaten by Apexi Race System, which was the team that won last year as well. So fourth place, I mean, it's really not that bad. It could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse as well. I was really happy with the, how the race was going, at least until the last lap. Okay, 14 points and fourth in the teams. Does that, is there a second round to this championship? I didn't even check. There is, okay. We do have a chance to redeem ourselves somewhat. Starting from ninth place, four laps this time, different layout. So it's going to be brand new once again. I'm really bad off the start. Blocked into turn one, and we're right at the back. Okay. 
try and pick our way through. Oh, thank you. I kind of, to be fair, I just kind of cut them off there. Did more than cut them off there. <laughs> oh, you just got to try so hard to avoid wheel spin, which means you've got to be really like walking on an egg eggshells with the pedals. Oh. See, look at that. Just wheel spin, trying to get up to speed. But if you're in third gear, you get the revs are too low. What a messy well, first lap this has been. So we're gonna go for an inside move into here. It's almost inevitable that we're gonna make contact. When you try and make moves in this game, it does get very clumsy very quickly. And there's not, you don't have too much control. In all honesty, you just got to kind of hope the car, <laughs> the car in front reacts, or at least your car doesn't go mad. Yeah, I'm really concentrating, trying to lap as quickly as I possibly can here. And yet still we're down in 8th position and not making any progress. Someone spun. One position. It's not going to help my championship though. Oh, corner. Missed the corner. It's so hard to see the corners. <laughs> no. Thank you. Oh, seventh is not good. A seventh and a fourth will not put me in the top positions of the championship. Let's see where I've ended up. Fifth place, 22 points. Yeah, disappointing to be honest. And Rick Racing were sixth out of seven in the team standings. Obviously, we've only got one driver for now, but still, disappointing. Japanese rep increases to 17,000, and hopefully our license, well, that is our reputation, sorry. We, we get closer towards passing our rookie license. 33,000. Balance is looking pretty good, that's something at least. Let's finish up by getting ourselves a drift car and doing our first proper drift event for Rick Racing. Only one event, Okutama, which I think is the same one as I did before, so I should know it quite well. And um, yeah, that, that's fairly encouraging. Look, if you're going to race, you need a car. Okay, I need to work out what I can afford with 46,000. I don't think I can afford any cars new. Well, that's a lie, I can afford a Toyota Corolla, but I wanna, you know, aim higher. Okay, I had a look through eBay listings for every car, and I can't afford any of them. So it's going to have to be the Toyota Corolla. Even the eBay ones are the same price as new, so let's just buy a new one. You came up short in the last two events. How about trying an easier level? Oh. Carmen, that's harsh. She does have a point, but I feel like I could have done better. Like The second one was very tough, but the first event, I definitely feel like I could have done better. So I'm going to stick with Extreme. I'm not going to just give up on it because it's, we don't want it to be too easy. Like, I can accept losing two races, Carmen. Get your tail out there and your wheels spinning on every corner. And link those drifts to max out your combo. Right, let's do this. It's all about link linking drifts, isn't it? And combos, as I found out. The closer you can get to the flag, the more points you pick up. And the flags. crashed into the flag, that's not the idea. And now I've lost my combo. No! No, I've lost my time six combo. That's bad news. I'm miles away from the flags. Oh no, this is going horribly wrong. Ah, combo's gone again. I'm crumbling. I'm, I'm kind of slowly reali realizing that my first ever run in this drift mode was actually really good. And I'm probably never going to match the score. Because <laughs> I kept the combo going the whole time, I'm pretty sure, without realizing it. Oh, 455,000. That's okay. Yes, we've done it. We've done it. 455,000. But we've done the first round. Semi finals next. Okay, semi-final time. Let's try and keep the speed up. Get the combos going. Come on. Keep it going, keep it going. High gears, keep the speed up. Don't try anything too ridiculous, and then I'll get good points. Okay, this has been much better. Times 10 combo. Pretty much already guaranteed a spot in the final, I'd say. 
That was good. Oh no, grass. It's fine, keep it going. There's a 14 combo. 2 million points, okay. That is the best by far that I've done. Just keeping the speed up, keeping the momentum going. And we dominate the semi-final, and we're into the final. Can John Traction win his first ever drift event? Here we go then, we're up against top secret, Jin Kudo. Let's do it. This is the final, it's just you and him. Let's win this. Even if I'm only half as good as I was in the last one, it should still be enough. We start. Bad, bad, bad. Keep it going. No, speed. No, I've lost the combo. Ah, no. Okay, I got the good points though. I'm going to build it back up again. Never going to get near my first score now. Okay, that's a good combo. 600,000. It's a pretty good score. I've gone on the grass again. Okay, it's not going to be the best, but the question is, is it going to be enough to win the final? Okay, it's going to be 721,000. I've seen the AI get high scores before, so this could be close. No, 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 no. Yes! Done it. I've won a drift event! I took my cheap little Corolla and I won a drift event with a really good score in the semi-final and, and doing just enough in the final. It was actually very close. There we are then, 20 points for John Traction and Rick Racing. We are 20 points as well in the team standings, of course. And that's it. Sponsors, as always, paying out £7,750. Give me my reputation. That's looking much better. Great win. You're filling our coffers. I am filling your coffers. £62,750. That's a nice amount of money. Oh, and we've got some new sponsorships. Coney, Luke, and AVO. Or AVO. Cool. Don't you think we should start signing new sponsors who bring in more money? always comes back to the money doesn't it so what have these races done for my driver ranking well as you can see we're up to 378th position which is obviously better than 400 which is what i was aiming for yeah things are looking good josh kendall's in there just ahead of me i remember him from i think i crashed into him in the first episode but things are looking rosy and that's going to be it for this episode guys thank you so much for watching as always uh the first race first event i was terrible i can only apologize but well the second one I was pretty terrible as well to be fair in the third one, I did quite good and finally got a victory in the drifting. So I kind of made up for it at the end there. Hopefully I can take home some more silverware in the next episode. But of course, if you don't want to miss the next episode, make sure you're subscribed to the Traction channel. Hit the notification bell to see the videos as they go live and leave us a like and a comment if you've been enjoying the series so far. And yeah, we have a long, long way to go. So hopefully you're in it for the long haul. Thank you so much. Keep it pinned and have a great day.